our Electro Voice and Dynacord brands, and specifically uh, what we call our professional and commercial audio systems. So that's everything from our EVIDs up to our line arrays, and then most of our Dynacord electronics. And joining me today is uh, Greg Campagnon, who's our Director of Sales for RTS Intercoms. And actually, Greg, I was thinking about it this morning. I think you could have hosted this whole thing, having some pro audio experience as well. So Greg's yeah, been with the company for so. quite a while. He previously uh, was, um, you know, an intercom sales manager. Then he became the director uh, for both Pro Audio as well as Intercom up in the Northeast. And now he's the national director uh, for both U.S. and Canada for RTS Intercom. So thanks for joining, Greg. Yeah, thanks, thanks, Rob. I've been on board uh, for 15 years uh, since 2006. I wanted to mention when Bosch acquired. Telex Communications and all the brands that we'll be talking about today, Electra Voice, Telex, Dynacord, and RTS. Um, so that was the year that uh, the summer of 2006, and I've been on board uh, since that time. So on behalf of everyone here at Bosch, we want to thank you guys for joining. And we do have nine webinars this week. This is the first one. So thanks for taking time out of your day, and we'll get started. Perfect. Perfect. Thanks, Greg. Yeah, and I've I've been with uh, Bosch here for uh, almost seven years at this point. So I originally was on a sales side, and then uh, transitioned over to marketing here a couple of years ago. But like I mentioned earlier, uh, so today we'll primarily be focusing on the Dynacord, Electro Voice, and RTS brands as a part of the Bosch Communications portfolio. Uh, and we'll be focusing on performance-based solutions. So uh, rather than walk you guys through the portfolio specifically, uh, you know, widget by widget, we figured we'd start with some applications. But before we dive into that, for those of you who aren't aware, I wanted to talk to you a little bit more about Bosch communication systems here. So there are, we are a collection of brands. We have a very broad portfolio, uh, which uh, why is for specific verticals, uh, whether that's House of Worship Theater, uh, among others, uh, we are a great choice for that. But uh, just to kind of review what's a part of the uh, whole family here as a part of Bosch communication systems, we do have Bosch public address, uh, which includes loudspeakers as well. Uh, it also includes conferencing and discussion. For our EV branded uh, portions of the portfolio, that's primarily transducers. So that's gonna be loudspeakers as well as microphones. So that includes commercial loudspeakers like our EVIDs for those of you who are familiar with those. Uh, also includes performance audio or professional systems. So that could include anything from a point source loudspeaker all the way up to line arrays. And there are quite a wide range of choices, which we'll talk a little bit here when we go through some of the applications. Uh, we are a market leader for portable loudspeakers, uh, which you guys may be familiar with uh, some of the product families like ZLX, ELX200, EKX, ETX, and then of course the growing Evolve family uh, that has been growing here uh, with us over the past couple of years. Um, microphones, uh, that's where EV originally got its legacy uh, back in the 1920s. So EV is a pretty uh, long-standing brand. We're almost to 100 years at this point, but you're probably familiar with microphones like the RE20, which I'm using today, um, as well as you know some of the ND microphones, which have, have taken off quite a bit, as well as some wireless options that are out there, such as RE3. We'll also be talking a little bit about Dynacord today. So that's kind of our electronics portfolio for professional audio solutions. So uh, that's that includes mixers, audio processing, amplifiers, as well as software such as SonicQ, uh, kind of our newest sound system software for control configuration and operation. Uh, Greg will be talking a little bit today about RTS. Certainly he's our, our resident RTS expert. So we'll be talking about uh, you know, more of the party line intercom, but we also do have digital ma matrix, which is available, which is quite popular with the broadcast market. Uh, we've got Telex Aviation headsets as well as te Telex Dispatch as well. So it is a very broad portfolio. And uh, Greg and I will only just be talking today about EV, Dynacord, and RTS specifically for fixed installations. So to just talk a little bit about EV for some of these performance applications, as I mentioned, EV has been a brand for almost 100 years. And as a leader in microphones and loudspeaker systems, EV offers a wide variety of options from commercial loudspeakers such as EVIDs, compact and large format loudspeakers, and a wide range of line array options best suited for your house of worship, theater, sports venue, or other performance venue. Um, and we highly do recommend uh, that you do pair your Electro Voice loudspeakers when you're taking a look at those for your for different applications um, to take a look at Dynacord as, as an option. So Bosch does have a unique advantage as both an expert in both transducers with the Electro Voice brand, uh, as well as amplifiers and electronics. So Dynacord is EV sibling brand for those of you who aren't familiar, based in Germany for over the past 70 years. 
And actually for a long period of time, uh, we uh, branded a lot of the Tynacord electronics here in North America under the EV badge. So some of you might already be familiar with the amplifiers and they were just badged EV. So going forward, the past couple of years, we've invested pretty heavily in the Dynacord portfolio. Um, and they're all it's all Dynacord branded now here in North America. So uh, certainly since we know our transducers and our loudspeakers quite well, we do have uh, presets uh, for the entire EV library pretty much uh, with the exception of very few loudspeakers. And then uh, of course we do have uh, options for other loudspeaker brands out there as well. So we're continuing to grow uh, into multi-brand systems if you are gonna use a combination of EV, Dynacore among others. And then of course, uh, RTS. Yeah, so when uh, Rob gets to talk about the exciting loudspeaker experience out front, we talk about the backstage communications with RTS. When the show has to go on and you need critical communications to go through, everyone relies on RTS. It's the number one communication system for broadcast. We see the picture up here in the uh, upper right hand side. And, um, but we do fit in uh, different facilities that we'll talk about today. Everyone knows us for broadcast, but we do do stadiums, we do performing arts uh, venues, houses of worship, and theater. And we'll talk about systems that do that uh, later on. But why pick RTS as your communications choice? Um, we have an incredible team in, the, in North America with sales and technical experience. Um, each guy has about 15 to 20 years experience in North America. We have warehouses in Greer, North Carolina, and Lincoln, Nebraska. And we have over 30 associates total in North America that span all the metro uh, cities, LA, Chicago, Metro New York, and Dallas. And our portfolio consists of the classic analog belt pack to belt pack systems. We have a new digital party line system that we'll talk about. Uh, we have the matrix products that uh, um, deal with key panels that you can talk point to point in critical uh, communications. And finally, what we build our legacy on is the wireless communications. The BTR product uh, in the Radiocom family has been a staple for the past 20 years. And we'll talk about the Romeo platform today, our newest wireless system that works in the 1.9 gig deck platform. So with that, we'll go into some of the venue samples here and talk about how EV Dynacord and RTS can fit in to the equipment list when you're putting something together for these values. Perfect, thanks, Greg. So um, certainly these are just application examples. Every venue is different. Um, and certainly, uh, you know, with between the combination of the EV Dynacord staff as well as the RTS staff, we could certainly recommend uh, anything that works perfectly for your facility. But uh, we do have a couple popular examples that we see uh, that we kind of put together to talk through. So the first one we'll talk through is maybe a multi-purpose auditorium. You know, maybe this is at a school or uh, a community center of, of sorts. So uh, this is an example of the uh, foreground audio system. So uh, Greg will talk a little bit about the RTS and the communications portion in just a moment here. But uh, in this example, we have uh, clusters of EVF full range loudspeakers. So for those of you who aren't familiar, that's uh, in this example, we're using the 12 inch option. There's also a 15 inch option that's available. And it's a 12 inch two way uh, front loaded loudspeakers, front loaded loudspeaker for the mains. We also have um, some EVF 2151D subwoofers as an LF complement when we need that. Um, and we do have uh, actually a ray bracket so that you have the ability to cluster these together, which you can see a uh, left and right cluster, as well as a center fill there uh, with an EVF 1122D. And then in combination, we do have some more fills for the facility. We have the EVU 108295s, which is a single eight inch two way uh, 90 by 50 pattern. It comes with the U bracket. The EVU series is often used as fills or delays and they're tuned quite similarly uh, with some of the other loudspeakers within the range. So you can mix and match with EVF, EVH, EVA among some of our other loudspeakers that are available through EV. Um, and then we also have some uh, EVU 2082s uh, for delays. So that's a, uh, that's a dual eight inch two way 90 by 50, which can be used uh, as delays in this example. And we're powering this all with our C series amplifiers. So uh, certainly these amplifiers do have DSP already preloaded, including FIR presets. And we do have presets for, um, or uh, loudspeaker settings rather for all of these loudspeakers. So it makes it pretty easy to configure. You can configure this all within SonicU. 
uh, and actually pick the specific uh, loudspeaker setting that you want uh, optimized, not only for to make sure that the loudspeaker sounds the best that it can, uh, but also to ensure that it's protected as well so that, uh, that that system actually lasts over time. So that's what we have for the foreground system here. So it's a combination of C-series amplifiers and EVF and EVU electro voice loudspeakers. So for the RTS complement, what are we doing for uh, the back of house here, Greg? Yeah, for, for a venue like this, Rob, we would classically use a party line system. So a power supply connected to belt packs via XLR cables, which we still sell. We sell the PS20 and we have the BP325 belt packs, a classic analog uh, RTS TW or party line system. But what we wanted to show off today is our new Omnio main station. This is the entry level into the digital platform, completely IP based, connected via Cat5 cables. And we're complementing it with our new digital belt pack that goes along with the Omnio main station. And with this system, everything can be home run or daisy chained when using a PoE switch. Here we have the Omnio basic system or the Omnio main station basic. And we have, we're showing off nine belt packs and nine headsets. Very basic setup, very basic for backstage communications at a uh, auditorium like this, a house of worship or a theater. Um, what's cool about OMS is it's completely upgraded. So we can start with a basic system, start off with a digital party line that you see here with wired belt packs. But we can add access points later with uh, the Romeo belt packs and add a wireless complement to this if we want to have uh, users that are untethered with no cable. And we'll look at that in one of the, the, the next uh, examples. But OMS, you start out as a basic system, and as your venue grows and you need more uh, options to add to the system, you can software upgrade the OMS over time as your system needs a uh, call to it. So really cool product, and we're happy to say that it's shipping with the digital belt pack now. We've been talking about it for about a year and a half now, and this fall we can say that it's shipping and uh, very excited about this new entry level and entry into the digital party line. Awesome. Thanks, Greg. Well, let's uh, let's jump over to uh, another example here. So let's uh, let's think of a small outdoor sports venue. Uh, this could be, uh, you know, like a K through 12 sports field, practice field, community center, uh, things of that nature. So uh, one of the loudspeakers that we see most commonly installed uh, specifically for uh, some of those types of applications is uh, the SX600 series. So uh, the SX600 loudspeakers have actually been around for quite a while. Um, and there's a reason for that, and they're used quite frequently because they not only meet a performance and budget standpoint, but they also are pretty easy to install and, of course, operate. So um, some of the internal components for the SX600 loudspeakers we actually borrowed from uh, the uh, X-Ray series from back in the day. If you guys are familiar with some of the older EV loudspeakers, uh, you know, or on, in some of the earlier days not too long ago. Um, but the SX600s come with a uh, strong arm mount, which makes them pretty easy to secure to a lighting pole, which is pretty common, or some other existing infrastructure, such as a press box uh, or, or things of that nature. Sometimes people erect their own poles to put these on, and you can kind of see that in the bottom corner there, uh, what that strong arm mount looks like. So it's pretty easy to mount to things. Uh, it does come with, um, you know, a basically dual 12 inch, so it is kind of a unique form factor, uh, but it does have great performance uh, as well. So um, it also does come in a transformer option as well. Uh, so if you do have longer runs where you don't want to do a low impedance run, uh, you can actually run this at 70 or 100 volts if you'd like to, depending on where you are. Uh, so if you do need to do some of those longer cable runs, uh, you can certainly do that uh, with the SX600 series as it comes, as you can actually get the transformer option uh, that's available. And then uh, here we have the IPX amplifiers uh, paired. You could also use C-Series as well, but uh, let's say you were limited on rack space, you wanted to use one multi-channel amplifier. The IPX 5.4 would be more than enough to drive the SX600 PIXs or the 600 PIs if you want to go with a low impedance option. And you could control, configure, and operate this 
all within Sonic U. And then certainly what I don't have pictured here uh, for some small outdoor sports venues, you could use something like an EV microphone as an announcer, like an RE20, uh, or you could use uh, RE3 on the field specifically, uh, if you're a referee or if you're doing any announcements from the field wirelessly. And of course you could pair that with an MXE5 as well uh, for matrix mixing, routing and control. So uh, Greg, what are we doing for the RTS complement? So I always like to talk about what we did historically. So this would be a typical uh, venue where we would do a BTR 800 system from the Radiocom portfolio. Again, that's the classic analog UHF wireless system, four belt packs to a base station. And we built our legacy on for 20 years with that system. You guys are probably familiar with it. But what we're showing here is using the Omnio main station with our Romeo belt packs as kind of the new generation of wireless. What we're using is an Omnio main station intermediate system, and we're hooking up AP 1800s, which are access points that then communicate back and forth to the TR 1800 belt backs that are the uh, 1.9 gigahertz uh, deck platform. So depending on how, how how much range you need and how many places you need to cover in the venue, we would put different uh, locations for the uh, access points and then line them all back to the ethernet switch back to the OMS. And with the intermediate uh, system, as I said before, you can start up with the intermediate with 20 Romeo belt packs. So this gives 20 users completely untethered in the venue, walking, walking around wirelessly having party line conversation with each other. If we want to upgrade over time, again, if the venue calls for an upgrade or they have more needs as time goes on, we can software upgrade that OMS to an advanced. And now we can hang 40 Romeo belt packs off of that system. So it's really, again, uh, an upgradable system. It gives you that stepping into the future needs of what your venue may have. Um, great system. Great to start out with, and this is where historically you would have used the VTR system. We're now using OMS as a base station with Romeo with Romeo belt packs. Perfect. Thanks, Greg. Well, let's uh, let's move over to another application example. Uh, for this one, we picked a medium house of worship, or a pretty common uh, configuration we see, uh, you know, on the pro audio side here. So. Uh, for this example, we have, uh, as mains, we have the EVA uh, line array system, which you may or may not be familiar with. It's kind of what we would consider our entry level uh, price point. And uh, it does have some unique options there that actually make it pretty attractive uh, to the wallet, but also for performance. So uh, in this example, we have two arrays of four EVA loudspeakers that serves as mains to cover the room. And then for uh, low frequency support, we have uh, four EVA subwoofers in this example. So for tops, we have the EVA, 2082S, so that's a dual eight inch uh, uh, line array module. And one of the nice things I think about the EVA system is uh, all of the rigging is actually uh, kind of hidden. It's kind of internal, right? So when we actually install uh, this line array, it's actually a nice smooth column, which is uh, pretty attractive, I think, and appealing for a lot of fixed installations. You don't have all of that ugly hardware hanging off the side. Um, but also, uh, you can get this also in black and white. So uh, I think for a lot of house of worship examples, um, a lot of uh, a lot of facilities want to go with white because that uh, mirrors their facility, and they don't want the loudspeakers to necessarily be the most visible thing in the room. So that's a good way to mask uh, the loudspeakers. But uh, ultimately, it ends up looking like a smooth white pillar, and that's uh, that's a pretty popular option for EVA. Another unique thing about EVA is that uh, the tops are rated at 16 ohms, so it gives us the ability to actually use several modules on the same exact amplifier channel. And then if you do want to do some shading, rather than add an amplifier channel, we do make an attenuation module that gives you the ability to actually shade the elements uh, so we're not blasting the people in the front row. Right, so it's nice and even SPL throughout the venue. So in this example, we have uh, eight modules powered by one C3600. So you can see how this could really, uh, you know, in a budget scenario, this is really helpful, but also you still retain control and that even coverage that you're looking for within the venue as well. So we have uh, C3600s driving the mains, and then we have two C3600s driving the subwoofers here uh, in a pretty complete solution.
And then in addition, you know, for a lot of house of worships, you know, uh, our house of worship examples, we often have cry rooms and other ancillary rooms, and you can certainly use other loudspeakers that are available, such as EVIDs uh, for, for those types of applications or another smaller point source option that we offer. What are we doing on the RTS side, Greg? So with the house of worship uh, situation here, you got it. We're starting with the Omnio main station again as the uh, heart of the system. But what we've done is we've taken what we looked at in the first venue, the digital party line, party line wired belt packs, and we've added the Romeo wireless belt packs to it. So now we have a hybrid wired uh, system with the digital belt packs, and we have the wireless system with the Romeo belt packs off of the access points. And everything's connected via CAT5. It's on the Omnio, uh, Omnio connectivity, which is basically Dante. And we've added a key panel to the system as well. So here we can access some of the matrix products now and add it to the Omnio main station. So the DKP 3016 is added here as maybe the front of house or the producer director of the service at the house of worship. And they can dial in any of the people on the party line systems, whether it's the, the digital party line or it's the Romeo party line. And then they can talk to everyone if they want to do an all call. So we built this system with the intermediate Omnio main station as the heart of the system. And remember, we can upgrade that to the advanced if we need more belt packs on the digital party line or on the uh, Romeo wirelesses. So depending again, as your system needs grow, your users can add the software upgrade to that Omnio main station as the heart of the system. Completely expandable as your system uh, needs expand over time. All right, Greg, uh, I think I got one more example here, if I'm not incorrect. And uh, this example, we have an outdoor amphitheater. And uh, so for the uh, EV and Dynacore portion, uh, we're leading here for loudspeakers with the X-Line Advanced system, specifically X2, which is uh, currently our flagship line array system. And uh, you guys might be familiar with uh, the X-Line Advanced series, which uh, is definitely popular within the touring markets, but also is used in fixed indoor installations quite a bit. Uh, over the you know past year, two years or so, uh, we have developed the X-Line Advanced install series, which is available now, so that it comes in both black and white. It wasn't previously available in white. You can also get these all in fiberglass as well. So we can truly put these in a truly open outdoor situation. So for an outdoor amphitheater, certainly we want the system to last. So let's use the most weatherized option we have, and that would be X-Line Advanced install, uh, specifically in fiberglass. So uh, for this example, we have uh, 24 X2 I212 uh, for the mains. So we've got 12 aside here, and then we're pairing them with some subwoofers. Uh, for the fixed installation, you could also roll more subs in depending on what performance you have. And we do make a uh, touring option as well that you could just roll in on a dolly. Uh, so we have the X12I128 subwoofers available here uh, for fixed installation. And we're powering this all with IPX. Certainly we're uh, using the X-Line Advanced system. So we want to use full 96K uh, with the best amplifiers that are available from Dynacord. And that would include the IPX series. So in this example, we're using IPX 24s for both the mains as well as the subwoofers. And certainly you could pair this with some EV microphones as well as the uh, new MXE5 matrix mix engine, which is not pictured here. But certainly we'd have this all operating within SonicQ, our newest sound system software. Uh, to set up, tune, and operate uh, pretty seamlessly. What are we doing on the uh, communication side, Greg? So with a system like this, it's a little bigger. Um, and what we wanted to show here is the entry level into the matrix systems using that as the heart of the system. So we're going away from the Omnio main station for a moment and we're looking at the Odin matrix. What this allows us to do is attach any of the key panel family uh, to, the to the matrix, which is the heart. And this is more, more of a point to point system. So if we need to talk to a specific person in the venue, we can do that via the key panels that we have in the key panel portfolio of the digital matrix side of RTS. Everything gets connected through the matrix and we have a little bit of analog here. We're showing with the party line system at the top the classic TW uh, power supply with uh, some belt packs. 
and headsets. And then we have um, also we're using uh, some of the, the classic uh, user stations in the party line system. We also have the access points again, the AP 1800s offering the Romeo Bell packs here. We have five of them. And again, this is more of, a, of a, a system where we need to talk to specific people around the venue. If there's a director that needs to talk to a specific bell pack or a specific person, it's all done through the matrix. What's also nice about the matrix system is that we can connect into the infrastructure of the venue. So think about a sports venue um, in this amphitheater where we might have a production truck park outside for the broadcast. The production truck has all RTS on it. So now the Odin matrix can actually connect to that production truck that pulls up to the venue during the broadcast. And now they can all talk to each other all via connecting their two matrix systems together. And again, the producer can talk to a specific person on that tr truck and vice versa. The truck can talk back to any specific people by marrying these two systems together. Very powerful system with the Odin matrix and it opens up the wide variety of the RTS digital matrix portfolio. Thanks, Greg. Well, let's move over to some Q and A here. Uh, I know we're uh, going to take a couple questions here from the chat. So let's see what we got here. Well, Greg, I got a, got a question for you. So, uh, got someone here who's uh, says he's familiar with the RTS two wire equipment and has used it in the past. Is curious about some of the new RTS stuff that's out now is it uh backwards compatible uh with some of the rts two wire legacy awesome question so the omnio main station is backwards compatible um, while we can add the digital belt packs to it we can add romeo to it as i mentioned it is uh completely backwards compatible to any analog power supply whether it be the audiocom ps series or the rts ps 2030 we can go backwards and that Omnio main station can talk to any classic analog belt packs, the BP 325s, um, BP 4000s, 5000s, 6000s, 2002s, 1002s. So it is backwards compatible with analog party line. No problem. Perfect. Greg, did you get any questions in the chat here? I'm just looking through. Yeah, I got a couple here. Um, when will the new RTS systems be shipping? Mentioned before, I'm very happy to say, uh, talking about new product, we are shipping. Uh, Omnio Main Station is shipping all flavors, the basic to the advanced, intermediate, and such. All of the Romeo products are shipping, and the digital belt packs are shipping. So that's really great news. Um, another question we had is the access points, the AP 1800s, are they IP rated? They're intended for inside installations, the way they stand out of the box, but we do have third party uh, weatherproof uh, boxes that you can fit around the access points so that we can put them outdoors. So in these stadium applications or these arenas, we do hang them outside and we have third party boxes that can cover them. And we do have charging stations for the, for the wireless belt packs that you can get as well. We have a, a lithium ion uh, battery system that can be uh, charged for the batteries for those uh, Romeo Bell packs. All right. Well, no, we're running a little short on time here. So if you do have further questions, feel free to reach out to Greg or myself uh, or your local RTS or EV and Dynacord sales manager. Uh, but one thing we did want to mention is that we do have a whole team of experts here, regardless of your installation, whether it's a house of worship, a theater, um, a school or, or something else uh, where you're looking to put, put in EV and Dynacord and RTS into your uh, system solution. We do have a whole team of application experts. We have a very broad portfolio, both on the RTS side as well as on the pro, pro audio side as well. So we do have a questionnaire up on the EV website, so feel free to uh, fill that out. Just some basic information about the facility and then we're able to create uh, you know, an ease model if required or at least create a bill of materials and some recommendations for your next project. So. And before we wrap up, 
you know, we are just starting the Power of Communication series of webinars this week. So this is the first one. So thank you for joining us again. Uh, we do have a couple more today. So we have preview here at one o'clock, which is our new uh, line array loudspeaker system software. So if you're looking at a venue such as a house of worship theater or others, uh, it's a quick way to get uh, an accurate representation of what loudspeakers you will need and how to configure them. So feel free to tune in uh, at one o'clock central time uh, for that. We also have a Bosch Decentis uh, uh, webinar here later today at 3 p.m. central. Uh, tomorrow we have some more. So uh, actually tomorrow we're launching a brand new product uh, specifically for uh, outdoor installations predominantly. So on the EV side, so it's going to be a big deal. We're very excited about that. So please join tomorrow at 10 a.m. Uh, if you haven't registered already. And then, uh, you know, Greg had talked a little bit about the digital party line intercom. Uh, there will be a specific session tomorrow at 1 p.m. Uh, Central Time. So if you want to little, learn a little bit more, uh, you can certainly attend that. We have a telex session for those who are in the dispatch realm of things. So we got some new product there uh, to talk about at 3 o'clock tomorrow. And then on Thursday, we have a new SonicU uh, update and iOS app with some enhanced functionality at 10 a.m. Uh, there's an Odin redundancy. Uh, session at 1 p.m. and then of course an evolve session there at 3 p.m. So feel free to join some of the other webinars if you have the time and at least register so that you know what's going on there. And then uh, feel free to follow us on social uh, if you want to learn more about some of our newer products that are coming out as well as new events. Uh, certainly we've been doing some more of these online events over the past uh, several past year or so. So uh, feel free to follow us there. But thank you again all for joining and uh, looking forward to uh, talking to some of you soon. Thank you. Thanks, guys.